the hacking of your emails, of the DNC's emails, of the DCCC's emails, could you sort of describe what it felt like to be in the middle of that? Because the very afternoon that the Washington Post is breaking news of the Access Hollywood tapes, John, how did you figure out that your, your emails had suddenly fallen into the hands of WikiLeaks? Well, <clears throat> Karen, uh, of course, the story starts back a little bit further uh, when the DNC hacks began to be uh, dropped uh, in the summer uh, leading up to the Democratic National Convention. Um, and at that time, I think there was some suspicion that, uh, that other uh, uh, accounts may have been uh, compromised. I, I, wa I wasn't uh, sure at that moment that mine had been compromised, and uh, and it took a while to, to figure that out. But um, in August, Roger Stone sort of pointed to the fact that uh, there were surprises coming, shall we say? Uh, and uh, you know, I think that uh, that day in October uh, that you reference when I uh, realized and the campaign realized the full extent of, of the penetration, um, a couple of things had happened earlier in the day. Uh, one is that the, uh, the Director of National Intelligence and the Secretary of Homeland Security released a statement saying that the Russians were actively interfering uh, in the election uh, and pointed to the ha uh, hacks of uh, Democratic accounts as, as uh, evidence of that, but, but went beyond that. Uh, and then, of course, the Access Hollywood tape came out in the afternoon. Uh, this was a Friday afternoon. Uh, and lo and behold, <laughs> uh, a half an hour later, as, as everyone had turned their attention uh, to Billy Bush and Donald Trump and boys on the bus, uh, they, they, uh, WikiLeaks and Julian Assange started dropping my uh, emails. And that continued on through the process uh, right up and through Election Day.